In the beginning, there was God. Then came beings made of fire and light. And at last, humankind. God sat on high, watchful with a judging gaze, while the unified voice of the heavenly host resonated in joyous splendor throughout creation. And all the while, there we stood, our faces to the heavens, children at peace. But what were we in truth? What were we made to eventually be? And were we always so undeserving? Did God's pride blind God from seeing our inevitable end, our inherent limitations? Perhaps. And what fundamental quality did we lack, which spawned an eternal hatred and envy? Why did those made of fire and feather, light and eyes, look down on us with such derision and spite? And after having been betrayed by our kin, our siblings in spirit, though of greater substance, we were cast out of such high dimensions, exiled from wholeness, and separated from sovereignty. Are we now and forever forsaken? For all time abandoned, having never read from the final scroll, having never known our true purpose. Are we destined to stagger aimlessly through this unrelenting dark? Only God in the end of time knows such thing. Still, are we doomed? Are we now fated, like the serpent? like our original sin, to reach out for places we dare not go, only to be lost in the overwhelming scope of knowledge and wisdom, finding ourselves wandering and reaching out for anything, for anyone. In such a dark and vast abyss, encased in the angst of ignorance, we would find ourselves grasping for any and all things which could spare us from our misery. And in the process, we may find ourselves once again having traveled in circles, reaching out for where it all began, no further than when we started, and having eaten our own tail, most likely again. But how do we end this cycle? How do we exit this karmic wheel? How do we put a stop to this endless repetition of births and deaths, living the same way each time? We let go. Instead of our tail, we eat of the fruit of knowledge again. But this time, we lose ourselves in the incomprehensible wisdom of the all. Perhaps heaven is not above our heads and it is certainly not at our backs. Perhaps it is at the bottom of a great fall, at our inmost depths, within the core of this world. So let go, with no fear of knowledge and understanding, and let us find who we are at the center of it all.